When President Donald Trump was infected with COVID-19, he was given an experimental monoclonal antibody therapy as part of his treatment regimen. Washington University School of Medicine in St. Louis is involved in varied clinical trials using two different monoclonal antibody therapies. The one given to President Trump from Regeneron Pharmaceuticals and the Eli Lilly treatment recently granted emergency use authorization from the FDA. Monoclonal antibodies are made in a lab to mimic the body's natural antibodies, harnessing the immune system to fight off COVID-19. In St. Louis, Dr. Rachel Presti oversees clinical trials as the medical director of the Infectious Diseases Clinical Research Unit. They've figured out a way to, to grow up an individual B cell that makes a single antibody. So it's a clone and everything um, about it is identical. And then they can take those individual antibodies and they can figure out which one is the best antibody to bind or to um, target a certain immune response or so on against a given germ. Dr. Presti is principal investigator of the clinical trial for the Eli Lilly monoclonal antibody therapy. In this study, this is a demonstration of the infusions given to COVID-19 outpatients. Presti said providing the Eli Lilly infusions is not so much a trial as it's considered clinical care as it now moves into a phase three trial. That's because the FDA granted emergency use authorization for this IV treatment. Emergency use is meant for adults and children over age 12 with mild to moderate illness who are at high risk of getting worse needing hospitalization. Dr. Presti says preliminary studies show no benefit for hospitalized patients with severe cases. Clinical trials for the Regeneron therapy are ongoing. To look to see if monoclonal antibodies that are directed against um, SARS-CoV-2 will prevent progression of disease um, and help people get better faster when they're in the hospital, so when they're hospitalized with COVID. In another clinical trial at WashU, investigators hope to discover if the Regeneron therapy would help household members of COVID-19 positive patients. We are looking to see if household contacts, if given an injection of uh, like a shot with monoclonal antibodies, if it prevents them from actually getting COVID, and if they do get it, if it prevents them from getting very sick with it. Presti says enrollment with household members is more difficult because the window was very short. But she says the research is advancing and overall they are having success enrolling people in the St. Louis region for clinical trials in the fight against COVID-19.